Today we're going to show you how to get started with your Garmin Swim 2. For this video, we are going to take a look at the watch and the charging cable. Looking at the watch, the first thing you will notice is the buttons on each side of the watch and the optical heart rate sensor and charging port on the back. You'll use the buttons to interact with the watch. The button on the top left is used to power the watch on or off, access the controls menu, and turn on the backlight. The buttons on the bottom left are the up and down buttons. You can use these buttons to scroll through the widget loop. Press and hold the up button to access the device menu. There, you can customize the watch face, set alarms, view the history, and more. The button on the top right is the start button. This is used to make selections in the menu or when customizing the device and to start and stop the timer during timed activities. Finally, the button on the bottom right is the back or lap button. When not in an activity, this button will take you back a screen. When in a timed activity, this button will mark a lap or mark a rest in a pool swim. On the back of the watch, you will find the optical heart rate sensor. This is used to track your heart rate throughout the day and during timed activities. You will also see the watch's serial number and the charging port. Before you use the watch the first time, we recommend fully charging the watch. To charge the watch, simply plug the charging cable into the back of the watch and then plug the USB end to your charging source, such as a computer. And now you're familiar with the buttons and how to charge your watch. For more videos on setting up and using your Garmin Swim 2, visit the Garmin Swim 2 page at support.garmin.com.